So I'd like to introduce Mr. Dan Desmond here. Are, are you going to come up? Yes, thank you. Uh, who will give us a more personal perspective on uh, his uh, dealing with this disease. And I gather we will have a, a, also take a few minutes for questions, if you're willing. Sure. Is that fine, Dan? Thank you. Well, thank you. I've, uh, I give you a little perspective on, on where I'm coming from. Um, we live in the East County. We have a, a beautiful home that uh, sits on the side of a very steep uh, cliff effect. And uh, as I progressed through the disease uh, and not recognizing I had the disease, I remember first using a hoe as I'm going up the hill. Yes, taking care of weeds, but also using it as a crutch, not even realizing why. Um, that progressed later on and uh, from walking and then uh, on a, a hiking trip to find out that I did not have the ability to do something that is normal for me. And so I had to see a doctor, one doctor to the next, and then I uh, was able to see a neurologist who assisted me. All of that was taking place while I was uh, heading up and a founding director of a, of a counseling office, and I think that helped me because I had that privilege for over 10 years. Uh, coming with the disease, the disease uh, made a little adjustment within my office. I was seeing about 35 clients a week. And in the process of seeing those clients, uh, helping them during whatever process they're going through, they started asking me more, Dan, how are you doing today? What's happening different? Um, as I progressed with that, recognizing they were talking to me and more concerned about where I was at. So I decided to take that practice. I turned it to another gentleman. Uh, now I serve on his board because it was a nonprofit counseling practice in San Diego. Um, the disease itself, for me, it started my legs. And I think everyone is different with this disease. It progressed from my legs. Um, it's now impacting uh, my chest, my back, my arms, and my hands. And uh, my hands is a, a very difficult area as a hobby. I used to make jewelry for my wife. My daughter asked for a little simple thing to be made five months ago. I can't do it. My hands won't work to the point of making a simple piece of jewelry. The the disease does impact you that way. I, I've talked with a multitude of people who have this disease. It affects everybody differently. Uh, in reference to your, to your research, uh, I applaud your research. The only thing I see negative is as serving as a veteran, I had that four and a half years. I'm also receiving some help from the VA hospital. The coordination between the two, I think, is a problem. Right now, I think I'm the average person. I'm on 20 different types of meds, some over the counter, some. All of these are residual. They're going to be in my system. I had steroids a year and a half ago. It's still in my system. Look at me. I'm a big balloon. Um, I worry about your clinical trials and then going to humans because we're not mice. But we're going along and with all these other little things, it must impact. So that's my only concern that I'm expressing to you ladies and gentlemen. Um, the individual thing with the disease, and I just want to say this, as a counselor, uh, as a Christian, I do believe your mind really impacts what happens in your body. Uh, this disease is a process. For me, it's called surrender. What I could do yesterday, I can't do today, so it's a surrender. As a type A person, I don't like the word surrender, but it's there. And living with that is difficult. Uh, 
I love the fact that God says he gives us the grace for today. He doesn't talk about next week. And, and handling today, uh, I talk to a lot of people with this disease, and they're fearful this is going to happen, this is going to take place next. When, when I'm able to assist them and we talk and we enjoy today, it's such a positive thing. Um, uh, a year and a half ago with this disease, a friend of mine took me over to a place in La Jolla called the, the glider port. He assisted in pushing me off the cliff. Uh, I went tandem and flew up in the air for about 45 minutes. Um, yes, I needed assistance coming down, and yes, like everybody else, we crashed on the landing. <laughs> but the, the thing of being able to do things, anyone who has a terminal disease, and I think that's probably everybody in this room in one form or another. If we focus in on only the disease, the quality of the life stinks. But if we focus in on what we can do and where I am today and what I get to do, I mean, hello, I get to be up here in front of you guys. That's a privilege. It's an awesome privilege. Later on, I'll be with my kids and grandkids and friends. We're going to do things. Yes, I'm in a chair. Later on, things will be worse. Okay. But I'm going to enjoy today. I appreciate what you people are doing. I appreciate your research. It will make a difference in other people's lives. And I applaud you. Thank you.